it was close. It looked like they might drop points again, but Arsenal, they had the fight in them to to get back into a game. 3-2 winners over Bournemouth. They went behind after nine seconds, which was phenomenal. And we'll talk about that goal in a second. (laughs) Then it was 2-0. But the strength of character in this Arsenal side, something that has been held against them for many years, it felt like, now they have it. And they, with the last kick of the game, almost as if they conceded with the first and scored with the last, they make sure that they keep their five-point gap at the top of the table. What did you make of Arsenal's resilience? Let's start with that, Dave. We'll give Bournemouth some credit for what they did do, but three goals for Arsenal when they really needed them. What did you make of their performance? Yeah, I mean, when Bournemouth... Did did Bournemouth score that second goal too early? Probably. (laughs) Um, The first one was quite early. I don't know about the second. (laughs) Oh, both of them, arguably. Um, yeah, I mean, let's not discount Arsenal. The, the way, obviously, they played this season is unbelievable. But I think just to have that character and to, to actually turn it around time and time again. And it's how many times have they done this season? Mm. You know, it's no surprise now that they're doing this. And I think that's why people aren't writing them off. And it's getting to, it almost has a little bit of an air of that Liverpool season when Liverpool won the league. How many times mm. did Liverpool score late goals in that season? And mm. it's, it's got a very familiar feeling for me. Um, mm. But just how players are standing up and the whole squad are actually contributing. Reese Nelson coming in. Oh, brilliant goal. Impact. I'll be honest, I- I'm really happy about that because I've been saying for so long, Reese Nelson's a baller. I-, I can see him doing something in the Premier League still. We've never seen enough of it. And I actually think whenever he's been called on this season, we've seen something from him. And it's a great option for Arsenal to have off the bench in particular. But I think it was interesting for me because I thought both goals that Bournemouth scored were really sloppy defending by Arsenal. And we've seen that in a few games recently. Saliba's not necessarily looked the same player since the World Cup. And I thought he was he was left ball watching with the first goal. Thomas Partey completely let his man go at the corner for the second goal. But that redemption arc was there. Partey scored his goal and, and, and made a due. And then I loved, after the third goal went in, Saliba lost his mind so much that he didn't even run off and celebrate with Nelson. He ran off on his own and looked like he was going to take his shirt off. He was just so excited. (laughs) But that commitment and that team energy and that positivity is something that Arteta has done really well to build. Can that last the rest of the season, Dave? Do you worry about the defensive fragility or do you think that their attacking spirit and that unity that they've got is is enough to see them over the line now? And, And what is becoming a bit more of a tight title race? I mean, to be honest, their their squad is providing them with you know so much sort of strength and endurance. It feels like at the minute. I think Trossard injury is probably a bit of a concern. I don't know how serious mm. that is. Um, but every, like I say, everyone's contributing, and it, every game now you are kind of expecting them to get a result, which is that's the kind of confidence that I think that they have going into every game. I don't think they should get carried away because there's still a lot of difficult games coming up. I think they've still got to play Liverpool. They've still got to play City again. Um, Mm. So uh, there's a lot ahead of them. And I know there's the likes of Paul Merson saying if they win the next three games, they've won the league, which I think is a ridiculous statement to make. If you you honestly... And if... Can you imagine hearing that? Can you imagine hearing that, though, as 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 an Arsenal fan? That's not the sort of... Thoughts you want to be, ha- you know, being in players' players' heads at the end of the day because you don't want to get ahead of yourself. The thing is, I don't necessarily agree with that statement. But if they win the next three games, they should win the league. If if they dropped it now, they would be kicking themselves for a really long time because this would never have been their target at the start of the season. But the position that they found themselves in, particularly at the halfway point. They have to. They have to, surely. I think the fans almost feel like they've already done it in some ways. And this apprehension that, oh, will we get it over the line? The way they've enjoyed this season feels like a title win in itself in many ways. And they deserve that that kind of happiness that they're getting from, from some of these performances. But at the end of the season, you want the trophy. And Arsenal have to do it now, surely. 